Hello YouTube friends, Tinker and Taylor, a Nerve Shack, a Nerve Shack workbench, Tinker and Taylor's workbench is getting a, a few alterations made to it to help us out, to make things easier. So I'll turn you around and we'll have a look. Okay then, what I'm in the progress of doing is I'm making the workbench wider. The reason is I want to get right on was on. Because as uh, I mentioned in some of the comments the other day, my right on was went clunk clank on the deck, so I want it inside. So I've widened it, I've moved the bench over six inches, nine inches, and then I'm putting in bearers to support some timber. So I'll do one for you and uh, I'll show you how I'm doing it. So what I'm doing is three inches that gap I've got some old timber but I'm gonna put into a place there like so And hopefully I'll get two bits on there. Oh well I can do there because this is just a measuring stick. I'm just using that as a measuring stick. And then I'm gonna put another piece along there and I'm gonna put a bit of wood on the top. And uh we'll see how it works. So So how I'm fixing it, so I've got it bolted and then it clamped onto there. The present moment, that's measured for three inches. I think it's just dropped, thanks Neville. And uh, I have, I drill a hole, diameter through into the metal, and then I have the roof nails, screws, 50 mils, bop into there. And now that's it fitted on. Come back to you in a minute. Now I do apologise. My hand is going to be in, a, in the way. I'll try my best to... Uh, Now what I'm doing is, my screws aren't quite long enough, so what I'm doing is... Yeah. There we go, and the battery's flat. Anyway, right, that's that done. I've got that one done. I'm putting a small, small washer on just to help with the bits. Put it in. 
Met mijn kliet aan. Eet in volt. En re. En hoop voor mij. Dus dat zou je doen. Zo, we gaan de andere kant. So what I will do, everything's over the other side. Right. I'm going to drop that down. Get my light. Needs to come up a few inches. A few inches. A few. First drill through. I have got my other battery on charge. Yeah. Do it. I am sorry my hands are doing the work. And that's it. It's my second one on.
you can see I've got that one done. Got the other one side done. Lost a little space around here, but uh, I'll all around the road, but uh, that's it in. So that's the ball fitted up to now. Sort out what I'm gonna do with that end. Plan is like I said before. Got a bit like that. I'll have to sort the other bit out for along there. And then a piece of plywood on the top. And then we should be ready to go so what I'm up to now is I've got all the bearers on which is going to be cut off I've got a block in the bottom corner there two three, three, three by threes lying there and I've got this Nice bit of wood. For when the guys come to my windows, they left it for us. I've got another piece over the back there, which I'm going to connect on at the end. But I'm going to come back to you once I've cut out the framing. Well, that's the new, that's the workbench. All wind now. I should get a ride on more on that. Nice bit of wood that. I've, I've spent the grand total of zero for the wood. That's all what I've collected. Skips and stuff like that. As you can see, we've just had a rain shower, it's flooded in. That's it, oh, look from the top. Yeah, it's a mess. Anyway, if you like this, put the thumb, click on the thumb, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Click the little bell and uh, yeah, click the little bell. This is just a quick video, a couple of days, but hopefully, I can get my ride on more. What I'll do is I'll put it on weather permitting tomorrow and uh, we'll see if it if it fits. I don't think I'll video myself coming on, man. <laughs> I'll probably fall off the edge. Right, thanks very much for watching. Ta da. -da.